Welcome to 20 at Twilight, a weekly video post that provides a 20 minute guided meditation, a way of praying with scripture to conclude the day focusing on and resting in the presence of God. I am Tracy Leslie, a certified spiritual director, life coach and senior pastor at Trinity United Methodist Church in downtown Lafayette. With the lighting of our candle, we affirm our faith. You, O oh Lord, are my lamp. My God, you make my darkness bright. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray. We praise you and thank you, O oh God, for you are without beginning and without end. Through Christ, you created the whole world. Through Christ, you preserve it. You made the day for the works of light and the night for the refreshment of our minds and bodies. Keep us from all harm. Guide us in your way. We belong to you, O oh Lord. Protect us by the power of your name. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want to invite you to take a moment to breathe deeply and release some of the tensions of this day. Just breathe deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth. You may want to gently tilt your neck from side to side, again, very gently. We carry a lot of tension in our shoulders. So this just gives us a chance to release a little bit of that tension. We can also wind up carrying tension in our jaws, especially right here. So just take a moment maybe to give that a little massage. Right at that hinge, again, very gently. Maybe wiggle your jaw back and forth just a little bit. Give your shoulders a nice shrug front to back, from back to front, perhaps reaching with a little stretch this way. And throughout all your stretching, remember to keep breathing. Continue to breathe even as you stretch. In and out in Hebrew, Greek, and Arabic. The same word can be translated as wind, breath, or spirit. So as you breathe deeply in, imagine that the breath of God's spirit, God's very breath, is breathing into you. And as you release that breath, imagine that God's spirit is cleansing you. Anything that is burdening, that even as the breath of God pours into you to inspire new life, the wind of God's spirit on the exhale is blowing away the chaff like dust in the wind. This is the rhythm of life. Just continue counting backwards from 10 to zero on the inhale and exhale. So breathing in on 10, 
and out on 10. In on nine. And out on nine and so on until you reach zero. If you get there, you can begin again. Don't worry about trying to finish, just breathe and count down. Close your eyes as you breathe so that your attention is only on your breath. You are anything like me, you may be finding yourself struggling emotionally right now as we find our nation once again in the grip of COVID, a wash, and record breaking numbers of COVID cases. This January is not much different than January 2021. We are in a kind of groundhog day, like that Bill Murray movie. And so we need a place of refuge from this viral storm. Psalm 16 is a psalm of trust. One Bible scholar refers to it as a confession of faith. Psalm opens with the phrase, keep me, O God. That English word keep, it's the translation of a Hebrew word shamar that is actually best translated, <laughs> a little bit more thoroughly translated as to exercise great care over. So the psalmist begins, exercise great care over me, O God. But this is not a plea of desperation. This is spoken from a place of deep trust. We might compare it to a young child, perhaps a toddler with good parents, attentive, caring parents. And the toddler might wander into the kitchen and announce to the parent, I'm hungry. And they know that because their parent is attentive and exercises great care over them, that they are going to receive something to eat. As you listen to portions of Psalm 16, not the psalm in its entirety, but portions of it, I would invite you to notice if there is a particular word that grabs your attention. I'm going to read slowly to allow you time to really absorb the words, to kind of swim in the words and in the images. So again, as you listen to me reading slowly, notice if there is a particular word that draws you in, that captures your attention. Psalm 16. 
keep me safe, O oh God. For in you, I take refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I will praise the Lord who counsels me even at night. My heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. So again, I hope that you were able to identify a word that drew you in, that captured your attention. Now I'm going to read these verses again. Again, really focus on the word that draws your attention. But this time, notice how it fits into the context, into the mood of the psalm. After I'm done reading the second time again slowly, reflect for a moment on how does that word fit into this psalm, into this context? How is its meaning, its significance impacted by the words around it, by the context of the psalm? Keep me safe, O oh God, for in you I take refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I will praise the Lord. He who counsels me, even at night, my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad. And my tongue rejoices. You, O oh Lord, have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. So again, this time you are noticing how did that word that captured your attention initially, how is it impacted by the entirety of the psalm? What is its significance within the entirety of the psalm?
we'll read these verses again. And again, just let the words bathe over you. And this time, after I'm through reading, I would invite you to think about how does that word that you've been reflecting around, that particular word that jumped out at you, how does that word fit into the context of your life right now? What is happening in your life this time, in this season, that perhaps drew you to that word? So just now we were thinking about how did this word fit into the context of the psalm? So it was originally written, right? But now what was it about this word that fits in the context of you, of your life, of what's happening for you right now? So reflect on that this time as I read. Keep me safe, O oh God. For in you I take Refuge. I said to the Lord, You are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I will praise the Lord who counsels me, even at night. My heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. You, O oh Lord, have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. How is the word that has captured your attention? that you've been reflecting on, how is it impacted by the context of your life right now? Finally, what would you say to God about this word? As you have processed the meaning of that word, its connection to your life right now, what would you say to God about that? Talk with God and listen to God.
from the rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Join me in this prayer, portions of it, by W. Paul Jones. Now at this time of sleep, may I rest in you, O Lord. Quiet me with the realization that it is you, not I, who are God. May it be in tranquility that I relinquish my hold on things, that in joy I may let the world turn without me this night. Fill this night with your radiance as into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be near to those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Grace and peace to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.